Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com, and in this video, I'm excited to be doing a review for you on a product called Spressio, and I'm also going to be going over the upsell version of it called Intelligence. Now, this tool, while it was designed more for people who does drop shipping and online e-commerce, it's also really valuable for affiliate marketers to find trending products that they can promote, and I'm going to show you how in this video if you stick around. So below this video will be a link that will take you to the actual sales page of Spressio. They do have a more in-depth full demo there if you want to go there and check it out. Uh, I'll also put details about the upsells and the pricing and some bonuses below this video if you happen to pick it up through my website. So this is the home page of Spressio and they have some bonus videos here, tutorials. Uh, everything's really self-explanatory and what you want to do is click on find trending products. And in the front end product of Spressio, you do get a lot of valuable information. Now, the upsell version of Intelligence, which I'm going to jump into in, a, in here in a minute, opens up these other buttons up at the top, which gives you um, a lot more information. And so what we're going to find here in the Spressio is it's going to pull out all this data that we can find for products that are being promoted on Shopify. And while it's showing you data from Shopify stores, this information can be used for you to uh, sell products on your own platform. So if you use it on Amazon, if you use it on eBay, WordPress, WooCommerce, whatever you're using, you can do that. And you can also find and use these products in your affiliate marketing campaigns if you can find other stores that offers uh, affiliate programs for them or even just by sending them to Amazon. And so here we are, we can see here that it's found 5,407 trending products. And so we can see here that it's found 5,407 products. And what we can do is we can scroll through here and we can search through them individually. Or what we can do is we can come up here and we can go through some of these filters and better fine tune it to the products we actually want to see. You can even enter a keyword here and choose categories and search to find more specific products. So if we scroll down through here, uh, you're going to see there's a wide variety of products. There's lots of information here. There's the total number of orders, the product cost, what stores are selling it for and the profit margin and their sales. So looking at this product here, we can see that there's been 82 orders. It costs a little over $10 and it's selling for $60, which is an 82% profit uh, and sells here of almost $5,000. So a lot of information right here we can see from this product. And if we wanted to open this up, we can see that it's selling on 18 stores on Shopify. We can click on this and we can come up here and we can come up to stores trend and we can see that it's getting added on a lot more stores. And if we go to Shopify stores, we can actually see these stores that this product was added on. And we can go to the stores and we can see how they're selling it, uh, get all kinds of information from competitors to find more information on this product itself so we can better sell it ourselves. Now, you can also come down here and click on AliExpress and it's gonna take you to this product there and show you more details about it and the pricing. You can also click on bookmark this product to save it for later, or you can click on this to add the product to Shopify export list. So let's just take for an example, let's say we're looking up uh, microphones. We can type in microphone, and let's say we want something that has at least 10 orders, any price, found any time, and we'll just leave it like this. And I'm also going to uh, save the search, and we'll name it microphone. This way, when I come back, I can just uh, choose this from the drop down box. And I can even get an email alert here and receive an email whenever new products match this criteria. Okay, so let's do a search. We can see here that it found two recently uh, discovered products that are trending right now. This one with 738 sales, the product cost, the selling price. So there's not a huge profit margin here. But it goes to show you that these are trending products. They're selling well. You can add these to your e-commerce stores, uh, your drop shipping stores, 
eBay, Amazon, whatever it is, or you can even create product reviews for these products as an affiliate marketer and find an affiliate program for them to send them to because you know they, these products are currently selling well on all these Shopify stores. Now, what we wanna jump into is the upsell version, which is called Intelligence, which is gonna give you a lot more data on the products and the stores so you can make a better decision about these products. So this is Intelligence. And so what we're gonna have here is uh, pretty much the same thing we had with uh, Spresio here. And it has this inspector tool. So let's go ahead and type microphone and we'll do a search. Okay, and we can see here there's a few products here. I didn't limit by any of the filters. So we can see a few more of them. So let's just go into the inspector. And what we can see here is the order trends. We can see the store trends and we can see the Shopify stores just like we did in the other one. And also being able to view on AliExpress. Now, what we can also do is we can jump over here okay so this is intelligence and intelligence what we want to do is come up here to the top and we want to search for Shopify products. So what this is going to do is open up a whole new selection of filters for us and it's going to search through 2.5 million Shopify products. So this is a great way to find products that maybe you want to promote or sell yourself regardless of how you want to sell it. And so there's different filters up here you can use to fine tune it to how you want. Same way you can enter a keyword. Uh, right here is a microphone, actually a uh, Blue Yeti mic. And we got different information under this section. Now, this data from all these products is updated every two weeks. So every two weeks, everything's refreshed. Uh, new details about all this data is gonna show up, the stores, the rankings, everything. And so what we can see here is that out of these 2.5 million products, products that are top sellers. And so we can go through these page after page, or what we can do is, let's say we're interested in selling microphones. We can click right here on this title and we can actually view this product in the store that it's being sold on. And we can see how they're selling it. We can see how everything's laid out. Uh, we can get all kinds of information from our competitors by using this tool. Now we can also visit their store through here. We can search for the product on Ant or on AliExpress to see if it's available. We can find it on Google. And we can see here the product ranking, store daily visitors, daily sales, the price. We can also see if they have a Facebook pixel on their store. We can see their Facebook page, their Twitter, and their Instagram. And we can click on store inspector. Now when we do this, it's going to open up some details for us here where we can visit their website. We can see that it was last updated by the owner five days ago, their estimated daily sales, the theme they're using, and their Shopify username. Under social information, we can see their Facebook and Twitter profiles. We can look at the product insights of the stores. We can see here they've had 250 products launched since July 14th. These are the most recent products that they've added to their store, which is really good information because these may be newer products that you can get an advantage on by promoting before it gets too saturated. And down here, you can also see the top five best-selling products on their store. We can see the installed apps on their store and also a breakdown of the traffic analysis. And this is interesting because you can see here the traffic by the country is 91% from Australia. We can see their competitor stores, some keywords they're ranking for, Google ads they're using. Uh, the Facebook ads will take you to Facebook to their page where you can see all of the ads they're running on Facebook. And then also down here, more stats. This is going to take you off to similarweb.com, which is going to give you more information about it as well. So there's all kinds of information we can find here. Now, if you're really only wanting to find the number one best-selling products on all these stores, all you have to do is come up here and turn this filter on. And it's only going to show you the number one best-selling items from these stores. So if we turn this on and click search,
then we can see here that it took it from 2.5 million to 525,000 products and we can see number one selling products on all of these stores so we can really have a better idea uh, of products or things that we can promote that we know are currently selling really well on Shopify stores. Now, if you want to narrow it down, let's say you're in a, a niche specific site uh, or even YouTube channel where you promote microphones, you could type in microphone here and leave the seller number one sellers turned on, click search, and what it's going to do then is just show you the top selling microphones in these stores. And then you can go into the store inspector, you can go to the product insights, you can come down to uh, top five best selling products and see each one of these items that they have here. Let's go ahead and close this and we can back up to the top and go to arbitrage price check. Okay, so with the arbitrage price check, we can get a better idea of uh, the profit we can get from a product if we're reselling or for drop shipping. So we can go up here and just let's just type in baby for example, click on find products. And what it's going to do is, for some reason, Amazon has or AliExpress hasn't been showing anything. I don't know if they're doing updates or what, but Amazon and eBay, uh, these are the two you want to look at here. So what we can do is we can scroll down and find a product that we might be interested in. Uh, for example, let's say this thermometer, and we can compare it to Amazon. So if Amazon's selling this, we can see what they're selling it for and what our profit would be. So if we click on Compare Amazon. You can see here it's uh, $15.99 on eBay. And over here, similar thermometers are selling for $50, $40, $40, right around $40. And so there's a profit of about $24 by selling this uh, thermometer on Amazon instead of on eBay. And so what we can do is we could go back to our Shopify products and just do a search for non-contact thermometer. So we'll go here, we'll type in uh, no contact thermometer we'll do a search and we can see here that there's 443 of these products being sold on Shopify stores $27 23 close to 40 35 to 40 dollars here's one 45 dollars uh, another one 45 and we can go up here and we can click on this link and it'll take us to the product in the store and we can see here where uh, this is the product you can see they're selling it it shows here for $39 so if you can sell it for $39 on a Shopify store you can see there's 515 reviews so this product sells a lot on here uh, how much can we get it from from Aliexpress so let's go back here and what we can do is search for product on Aliexpress Okay, so nothing came up here. Let me go ahead and just, we'll just do a paste for thermometer, no contact, click search. And you can see there are plenty of them here for basically five to $10 you can get them for. Um, this one here looks like it might be the same one that they had on their website. Let's go to it. And so you can see this product is between five and $13, depending on how many of them that you buy at once and you can resell them for up to 30 40 50 dollars or you can even make your own website to look similar like this one and if you don't want to drop ship the products you can just sign up for an affiliate program for someone who sells this product create pages like this and instead of a button here that says buy it now um, you could say learn more get more details you could leave it as buy it now or whatever but use it as your affiliate link to redirect them to the place that actually sells it so if they do sell it you get a commission from it and of course you can make videos around this product or whatever it is to drive traffic to it so there's all different kinds of ways that you can use uh, Spresio and especially the intelligence the upsell version to find products that you can either drop ship, sell on your own e-commerce stores, or even find just to promote um, as an affiliate marketer. So that's what Spresio is and Intelligence. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot of potential with this product um, and being able to find trending products to promote. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. I'll get to it as soon as I can, and uh, I'll notify you when I put out new videos. Thanks.